What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Booster GS. We got another score card reaction for y'all, and you already know what it is. Let's get it. All right, man, we've reached a part of the list where we're now going through a lot of requests that are coming from IG. So these are a lot of cats that are self promo and stuff like that, uh, which means we'll get a lot of new faces and not a lot of new sounds and stuff like that this week. That makes me excited. All of these did pass quality, so I'm not just grabbing random ones out of there. All of these have passed the quality check. I'm excited about that. Do me a favor. Run the gauntlet. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Little bell notification guy. We're about to see what this is hit for, man. This is uh, Timo. Uh, it's just the name of his person, uh, but then it says uh, Timo the Rap Man is his copyright. So I think that's a, we got to work on your uh, search engine optimization here, my guy. But yeah, I think Timo the Rap Man is going to be his actual uh, artist name. Uh, if you're going to want to look him up, also what does he got? 56 subs. My man got no subscribers. Do me a favor. If you guys are fucking with this, if you guys end up liking this at the end of it, go and hit that subscribe button. I will do the same. Uh, it's just love shows love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but again, if it's not good, we'll give our criticism. We'll move on. But if it is, make sure you go and smash that subscribe button for him. Uh, pay it forward. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. More music. More music. More music. Gems Oban for the love of music. Yo, yo, fellas out there, what's going on? Y'all, welcome to the sh Oh, maybe he does just go by Timo, my bad. Did you see money all up in here right now? We have a lyricist in the building. To y'all fellas out there, want y'all to feel free to say what you think about him. Is he dope or not? You know we gonna tell you. Let's go. I like the intro. I didn't need your permission to choose somebody up, but we here. We here. Also, this beat. Hold on, chill. Why is he coming in on like some smooth ass R and B? You guys know. You guys know the dark room music is my bag. Hold up. Listen to this. Up here right now. We have a lyricist in the building. To y'all fellas out there, want y'all to feel free to say what you think about him. Mm. Is he dope or not? Damn, nigga, you ain't need to say nothing, nigga, dope. I think Timo the Rap Man needs to sell out before he can think of selling. Man. I heard the jammy did was suspect, but was suspect on that song? They shot the video. How do you really hope to flow with the industry? Knowing fully well that your type of music is not fully utilized by the people. Yeah. I remember how it used to be then The type of love voice and girls them be show us every weekend yeah. Wasn't about the money, yeah. wasn't about the fame Was just for the love, I could say it again We had fans who loved the art form They listen when we perform No social media syndrome Everybody was no social media syndrome Alright, hold up There's a couple things I want to take away Number one, that intro is nasty It is not Something that I, I, I can think, I can't give another example off the top of my head of a track that starts off with the, the voice notes like that of people that sound like they're just criticizing them, right? Like most of the time it's like, yo, you put like the cosines and stuff like that in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, here here goes the people who were talking shit, now let's quell that. Let's let's quiet these motherfuckers down. This is the shit they were saying about me, now let me do it. Um, his flow and his delivery, this is old school hip hop, man. This is, this is giving me like nostalgic vibes right off the bat. We're gonna bring it back, we're gonna listen to it, we're gonna break it down a little bit, but just a couple things right off the bat to point out that I liked. Uh, also, if you guys know, I, I like the uh, the uh, the aesthetic here. You know what I'm saying? Give me the single mic. Give me the black round. Like this. This is like a almost like a cipher video type vibe that they have going on in here. But let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Utilized by the people. Yeah. I remember how it used to be then. The type of love voice and girls them be show us every weekend. Wasn't about the money. Wasn't about the fame. Was just for the love. I could say it again. We had. Fans who love the art form, they listen when we perform. No social media syndrome. Everybody was real. Some were made from the realness of hearts. I had mentors who taught me that. Stay focused, go around the market for just when bogus. Never care what they told us. DJ T money, we always say stay hip hop. Even though they choke us, we don't get paid. After hours of performance, still got betrayed. Uh, Sometimes we trek home, sometimes we beg home, sometimes we hang on the bus just to get home. But hey, the love never. Switched. Yo, okay, hold on. This is this is some real shit. 
He's he's not barring us to death. He's in his storytelling bag. This is not my own personal favorite bag, but you gotta respect it. He's doing he's doing a really good job. I'm at, like I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I wasn't sure what to expect when that when you had like the dark room music vibe that come on. I was like, all right, cool. I'm about to get in my emo bag, but he he switched it up. As soon as the actual beat dropped, it switched it up and it got that kind of old school like grassroots of hip hop type vibe and he is he's he's killing the fucking storytelling flow and shit like that. I this is this is dope. This is dope. Get paid after hours of performance still got betrayed. Uh, sometimes we trek home, sometimes we beg home, sometimes we hang on the bus just to get home. But ah! I never switched. I'm still doing rap because I rap home. I think it is to go commercial switch or whatever. Now he's eating this right now. <laughs> the, the the combination of using the voice notes for the hooks now, like that's unique. I like this. I like this. So, so, I think the guy is underrated, basically. Man, I've been hearing the name Timo the Rap Man way back before I started hearing the likes of Whiskey, Techno, Debido. But bro, you're still on the ground, man. What's up with you, man? You know people do No, no promo the guy just need. No promo. They give hit songs. Right. Not only God, they promote one. For real. Not only God, they make us strong. Yeah. Even though the industry never they smile on us based on funds. Empty promises, the power. But when you call them, no response. Based on belief, everybody gets him turned. The challenges must come. Fans attack us anytime they see us come. Them no one know if we pocket strong. Shoot the video, bro. Make we hear your jam on radio. Nobody cares if you pass through storm, but I give them what they want. I give them what they want. The way my mixtape get downloaded, you think it was porn? Like, look, man. Here, here's what this is doing to me. We gotta talk about it. No, the only, the, really, the only thing I don't like about this so far is the video lip sync is not good. Like, it's not lined up really well. I don't even know if that. Like, this looks like he went to like a radio show or something like that. I'm not even sure if this is him who's responsible for the creation of the video. So I'm not going to focus on that whatsoever. Um, this is taking me to like the Saturday morning, Sunday morning house cleaning shit. This is the type of shit that you put on. Like if you live in just like you got hip hop in your soul, if it's part of your upbringing, if it's part like, like this is going to take you back to those early weekend morning house cleaning type sessions where you got the windows open, the doors open, the block is, you know what I'm saying? Like everyone's outside on the block. It just like, it, it, it sounds like a summer hip hop jaunt to me. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is nothing but good vibes. And it's weird because like you can say that there's a negative connotation because he is highlighting a lot of the negative things that people have said about him, even though some of them were kind of like sticking up for him. But it's just the soundscape. The literal soundscape of this track, it just breathes fucking hip hop. And I like his voice. I like his voice. His delivery and rhyme schemes are probably a bit more on the, the basic side of things, but these type of tracks, when you're doing a storytelling track, it's not about coming in and barring shit up. It's not necessarily about coming in and fucking, like, having the best punchlines and shit like that. It's really about being able to paint a picture. Good lyricism isn't just about punchlines. Good lyricism is about being able to make the listener see and feel the things in your head that you want them to be able to see and feel. <gasps> I don't know if this is what he wanted me to see and feel, but it's making it happen for me. And it's making me happy. Like, I'm genuinely in a better mood right now having listened to this man's song right now than I was prior to hearing it. Which is a dope fucking thing to happen. Um, this is, again, this is, there's some critique to happen, maybe. But, like, right now, it's all positive vibes. This is my hustle, I ain't rhyming for fun, I put it work When I rhyme, I bring joy for boys, Damn. but the truth is we're still here We ain't going nowhere, this industry must be us our share I swear ah, Hello, hello, ah Timo, my name is Shaku Shaku See, I don't believe all my child right now, see, the job makes sense Yeah, you need to hear this job Tile, tile, bangolo, eh, 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 eh So, but I will be that, I will be that I remember 2011 on the Starquest stage, we watched that shit on NTA. But like a Daryl, Rugged Man, KC, and don't see on the Starquest stage, but we're hoping you will blow up from there, man. What's up, bro? What's up? What's happening, man? Timo is known by everybody, but his whereabouts is known by nobody. Where you there? You be dead, I mean, you don't push. 
Not only God they give hit song, not only God they promote one, not only God they make us strong. Signing out right now. One time for everybody who fought run the show. My homie Tim Mo, you rock me. Yeah, young go G's in the game. You should know now, Phyllis. Did you see money go Google it? We are changed. For what that was, I look, I'm subscribing right now. You guys, yo, if you guys were fucking with it, I encourage you to go down, hit that subscribe button, show my man some love. Um, I enjoyed that. Let's break it down because I do want to point out some of the things I like, some of the things I didn't like, but all in all, what a fucking positive ass fucking just vibe that that just gave off, man. I'm feeling good. Uh, let's get small. Are we small? We're small. Okay, let's pull up the scorecard. Let's break it down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Cancel. Cancel. Let me pause. And we're back. All right, I don't know why my scorecard got completely deleted for some reason, but we're back. All right, so we are brand new to Team Mode of Rap Man. Uh, look, in order, if you guys are new here, you don't know how this goes, in order for me to be a fan of you, you got to catch at least three of them on the channel. Uh, I'm a fan of this. This was dope. This was dope. Uh, I, I think uh, he's, he's one for one right now. Target audience for this. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think that... If he's going to get critique, I can definitely see him getting critique from the younger generation who are kind of more into the more melodic shit, you know what I mean? Like 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 soundscape right now. This is definitely more grassroots hip hop. Like if this is for if you're in the 30 up fucking group of hip hop listeners, you're probably fucking with this joint. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh proper setting. I told you. For me this is weekend. This is this is a uh, weekend cleaning music, man. This is weekend cleaning music for me. Uh, bars of lyrics. There was nothing. Now here's the thing. There was nothing super impressive about the lyricism that was in there, right? There was nothing that was like, I'm gonna walk away with a quotable and here's your merch shirt, nothing like that. There's definitely room for opportunity to growth, but there was nothing whack. There was nothing bad that he said, and he still managed to deliver what I think his point of delivering the message was. So. I would give this like a solid 18. I would give it like a solid 18 out of 25. I don't think it's the best that he's capable of, but I do think that he understood the assignment and that he got it done. His delivery for a storytelling track, solid 21 out of 25. He, he didn't like, you don't want to come into this shit with like a chopper flow or nothing like that. Even the punchline flow and shit like that, it doesn't make sense when you're just doing like the storytelling track and shit like that. I think the delivery was dope. Uh, the, 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 the using the voice notes and shit like that for like the hooks, I, I, I liked it personally. Normally, I don't like that shit when it's like a, like a commercial track. Like, There's no way it's going on my playlist as far as like the radio stuff goes. But for the storytelling track and the way that he developed this, like the art, the, the artistic direction that went into it, I think it worked really well. Uh, the beat selection was perfect. 15 out of 15. Uh, sound quality or mixing could be better. Uh, I give it like 11 out of 15. I do think that there, this was not a, an A-plus quality studio cut of anything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but at the same time, that just means that there's that much more room for growth with the stuff that comes out after this. Uh, the effectiveness. Does this make you want to listen to more of him? Now, me personally, I don't seek out the storytelling tracks. It's not my brand of hip-hop that I like to listen to on a regular day-to-day -day basis. But when I do choose to dip into it, it has to be good. It has to have those qualities that like have a reason to listen to it. Which for this, the nostalgic vibe, the grassroots hip-hop vibe, that's your reason for listening to it. Uh, I would give this a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, and then enjoyability. Uh, I, I think the 8 out of 10 is exactly where I'm at with this. I would give it another 8 out of 10. 81 out of 100. 81 out of 100, that's my score. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Please don't forget to go and look out for my guy. If you enjoyed this, go and hit the subscribe button for him. Support Grassroots Hip Hop. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Let's go.